What's up, show up lifestylers? This is my epic morning routine. Five show up lifestyle tips to be successful in 2018. Just going to give you a rundown of the five tips right now. Uh, one is exercise slash stretch. Two is meditation. Three, learn something new. Four, have a plan for your day. And five, execute. All right. So now that you have the five tips, I'm going to go ahead and go into more detail in each one so that you guys can have an understanding of what I'm actually talking about for these five tips of a successful morning routine. Number one is exercise and stretch. So for me personally, what I do is I have a routine of doing calisthenics. I just started this. Uh, if you've watched my previous videos, you know I was doing a lot of weights. Uh, every once in a while, I, I focus on cardio. Right now, I'm focusing on body weight exercises. Um, calisthenics is just a more sophisticated way of saying it. Um, but I do that Monday, Wednesday, Friday. On days that I'm not doing that, I'm doing yoga for lower back pain. So you can go on YouTube and search yoga for lower back pain, yoga for beginners. Um, you know, if you're having shoulder pain, yoga for shoulder pain, neck pain. They have pretty much everything. Um, and, you know, the videos range from 10 minutes to an hour. So you really have like a full range of choices on what you want to do. Um, but none of this is set in stone. Like you don't have to do calisthenics. You don't have to do yoga. You can do basketball. You can do tennis. You can do swimming. You can do walking. You can walk your dog. You can, you know, whatever whatever you want to do. Uh, I just suggest starting the day with some kind of exercise to get your body hyped up and your mind right. Uh, number two. Just going to skip on to number two now, which is meditation. Um, there's many forms of meditation. The, the meditation that I'm using, uh, I was using binaural beats. Uh, you can go on YouTube again, search binaural meditation, binaural beats. You'll find a range of selection from 10 minutes to like eight hours. They have some crazy ones. Um, but whatever fits for you. What I like to do now is I set a specific space that's quiet um, that I can sit down comfortably and spend 10, 15 minutes in silence and just focus on breathing. Um, this is what I've noticed helps me the most. Um, I don't get distracted or caught up in the music. Um, and it kind of helps me to clear my mind on my own without the help of binaural beats. So I, I feel like there's a little bit more mental focus when you're really just sitting in quiet and listening to your thoughts. And, uh, you know, meditation, you know, this is the time that I use to clear my thoughts. If I'm going to go exercise and I feel negative about exercising and I feel like, oh, I don't really want to do it today, I might meditate first just to clear my mind. So I can like notice those negative thoughts and go, okay, this is not where I want my energy spent today. I don't want my energy spent on these negative thoughts today. Today, I'm going to focus on how I'm going to feel after it's done, what it's going to accomplish, and meditate to just focus your mind and also clear it. Clear it and then focus it. Number three is learn something new. Again, this is not set in stone. This is just an example of what I am doing in this period of my life. Um, learning something new, it's always going to be different. And it just depends on where you're at in your life and what you feel you want to learn. Um, so right now, I, I have Audible. Um, you can get Audible. Go to audible.com, sign up. They usually give you the first 30 days free. Um, and once you get on there, they give you one book for free, so you can pick whatever you want. Uh, it's a pretty cool app. I've had it for almost a year now. So the last audio book I got was a Pimsleur course, 
um, that teaches you Spanish. So I'm taking this course, um, and I re and I listen to it about 30 minutes every day, um, and it it's it's helping me learn Spanish. You know, um, hablo español un poco. But so you learn, like learning this for me. Um, I just think Spanish is a good thing to learn. I live in California. There's a lot of people who speak Spanish. Uh, my girlfriend is Spanish or Mexican. She speaks Spanish. Her family speaks Spanish. I don't understand most of it. Um, so, you know, learning Spanish at this point in time in my life, it, it, will, it will only further my career and help me grow and be able to communicate to a, a larger amount of people. And um, it'll help, you know, with with family life, too. So learn something new. It doesn't have to be Spanish. It could be origami. It could be writing. It could be reading. It could be um, whatever you want to learn, you know. So just learn something new. Number four is have a plan for your day. Um, so, like, these, these first three, this is what I try to do every day. Um, this is like my real morning routine. Uh, number four is to plan out the rest of your day. You know, um, most likely you're probably going to work. So have a plan for your day at work. Have something that you want to set out to do at work. Um, and what this will do is, one, it will make you more confident. Two, you're planning out your own day. So you're making your own accomplishments and make it a good one. You know, don't make it to sit down for an hour and meditate while I'm at work. Make it a good one. Um, make it something to where you're making a difference. Um, it's making time go by faster because you're excited about accomplishing this. And um, just have a plan for your day so that you're not stuck in just reacting to everything. You have at least one plan one thing that you want to accomplish and don't get so caught up on accomplishing it because things will get uh, distractions will get in the way you can't always plan that out but you can take uh, tiny steps towards accomplishing whatever it is you want to accomplish that day and number five most important is execute you have your plan for the day now execute it um, and, and once you do that you're, you're pretty much good. I got to go. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Have a good day.